Dreamscapes came to us as a concept, one that several of us have been playing with the idea with for years, being really inspired by other immersive art exhibits, and we really wanted to bring that to Utah. We kind of teased out the whole concept and got a location, and here we are. Because we invite people to play and explore, Dreamscapes allows people the tactile experience that you don't usually get in a traditional art museum or an art exhibit. Here's please touch the art. Please become a part of this art. How many times can you go into an art museum and just climb on top of a toadstool and hang out? You know? <laughs> everyone to come to this exhibit and be able to just add something of their own and I think this room specifically gives that to them. I mean, as you can tell looking all around we have like kangaroos and elephants over there, triangle right there, a flag, rainbows all over. So it's been really really fascinating to see what people do. The passion that went into this is something that we are proud of. One room was created by one group of artists and another room was created by a completely different artist and they were working off of this collective understanding that it was a dream. Every single room here was basically inspired by the materials that we had at hand. Dreamscapes really came to be and is a really good example of how you can repurpose materials and give it new life into something that's really beautiful. I know that there was one local company that donated a lot of stuff. It actually is helping that company reach their zero landfill goal. We found just this material that wasn't being used or that had been discarded and we made magic happen with that. That saying that another man's trash is another man's treasure, it's absolutely true and I don't think it's ever been proven more to me in this. There are many reasons why Dreamscapes is important. I think it's a great way to bring people out of their houses and give them a chance to experience something really amazing that they've never experienced before. We had the privilege of having the school for the blind and deaf come through. Being able to see children interact with art in a way that they never have before was incredibly gratifying and really hit home our main purpose, which is to make art accessible for everyone. Art is human. When you see it, it affects you. The goal ultimately is to build a permanent facility that's constantly changing with art in it and create an environment that helps people who are maybe not artistic realize that they actually are artistic. Everyone has a creative bone in their body and if you give them the tools and the space to cultivate that, it's really inspiring to see what's able to come to fruition.